Okay, yes, Kian here. And so, uh, as we're narrowing down more things on the animation, one of the issues that keeps coming up is confidence in the animation values. And the thing about the animation value is, is that, one, we have a pretty good idea of what the animation format is. Two, uh, the animation format seems to work out. Uh, when we read the interpretation, everything seems to line up for the exact predicted width and the exact width that ends up reading to the end of the pointer, and the fact that it works for every single animation that we try parsing. Um, also as well, the, f the values for each animation are uh, reliable and predictable. They're within an expected range. Uh, position and movement values are between, uh, you know, negative 0 0.5 and 2, which is about the range that you expect for uh, Shamu scale and animation. Um, things are on the on the left have minus. Things are on the right are plus, and things like that. So um, the the values themselves are realistic and uh, potentially uh, working and realistic. Um, the thing that's weird is the complete lack of key values. Um, now what the game does is it encodes it has a section of bits where high bits are, it reads the keyframe value, and low bits it reads something for, it reads two values, uh, which we currently think is for uh, easing or something to that degree. Um, so what I have here, what I have is, right now is Rio is walking, I made a small script that only allows the bones that I allow to pass through into the animation. So we only want 0, 2, 9, and 3, 5. So 0 is root because if you don't have root then it starts going wonky. 2, 9 is the right hand target and 3, 5 is the left hand target. And we'll come back to these and again. So uh, just kind of take a look. Uh, the left, right hand target is very, very sparse. Left hand target as well, very, very sparse. Only one keyframe value on each one uh, specifically. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this script and then what we're going to do is load the state and once we load the state uh, the only three bones that we have working are the root bone the uh, left hand target and the right hand target and we can see that the value that the animation is working with only these three targets so if we take a look at the animation hx walk that uh, we can see that uh, most of the animation is zeros. We've eliminated everything from block one. Uh, almost everything is like from block two. Uh, block three is just the intermediate keyframe values. Block four is the uh, high bits, low bits, and then block five is the actual values themselves, as half half float values. Um, and then what we can do is we can take this and pop it into the parser. So put that back to the alternate version, which I had loaded up a second again, a uh, second ago, and there we go. So we have the same three uh, values, and these values are the same thing that we have on the uh, full uh, parser. So we can see that we can see that these bits are the only bits that the game is reading to produce that motion of animation. Uh, the weird thing is that, as far as we can tell, there's only one keyframe value. Uh, for the left and right hands, uh, respectively. So minus 0 0.2.6 and minus 0 0.25. Um, so how is the game getting these? How is the game filling in all the values in between? Uh, personally, I have no idea. It could be that they flip the animation and reverse it back the other way. Um, but the other weird thing about this is that this is minus 0 0.26 in the x direction and 0 0.25 in the y direction. Um, this should be Z if it's going forward and back. Uh, X and Y is left and right, and that really doesn't make a lot of sense either. And then there are a lot of values that just aren't filled in. Uh, for these light white areas, these are the times where the game reads two values, and we can see that 0 0.1, 0 0.95, 0 0.0, 0 0.93, uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.93. Uh, it doesn't look like these are keyframe values because they look like a slope or they look like the change of something. Uh, these don't really seem like very realistic values to read from because uh, 
at target zero, 0 0.98, this would be really far forward, far front, in front of the model. And then for the left hand target, we see that this is minus as well. So that would mean that uh, both hands would be in front of the model, which doesn't make sense. So uh, this is one kind of thing that's that's crazy with uh, Shamu, is that I, I think we're at a point where we're reading the right bytes, we're reading the right values, and we're, uh, we, ha we know where everything should be. Um, the problem is, is just that this is just a wonky mess of uh, interpretation. And honestly, uh, I've, I've looked at this for a while and I really have no idea uh, what's going on and how they produce uh, this result uh, from these bytes. It would take it would take a lot more testing and digging and uh, um, you know digging and testing to kind of think of more experiments to determine uh, specifically how this how the game is getting this motion from just these values. So uh, that's the first mystery that we're working on is what the fuck is going on with um, the animation values because this is some uh, straight up fucked up bullshit. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, key on out.